Hello, Berberay Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Berberay Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day, girl. It is time to submerge yourself in this YouTube street because you know how drama is always happening everywhere. And these YouTubers are always trying to do the most. And we need to talk about our favorite. This is like our Erica Jane, but from YouTube, which is Miss Trisha Paytas. You know, she's always doing the most. And, uh, uh, saying things, changing her story, contradicting herself. Girl, it is a lot, you know? And now she's getting backlash because she promised something and she's breaking that promise like the next week, you know? And we definitely need to talk about it. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to support my channel. Now you can do it through the thank button right here. And let's talk about this mess. Hey, Dios mío. No. My friend, my soulmate, my sister. I am so glad that Juan Dixon is not here right now. Erica, I don't have to make you look bad. You can do that on your own. Better? Is bitch better? I'm shaking. I'm physically shaking. So before we start with this whole Trisha Peta situation, I just want to remind you that yesterday 7, at 7 p.m. I dropped my second episode, well, there is no episode, my second video of my new segment, Andy After Dark. We talk all about who killed Princess Diana and, well, the rumor that someone murdered Princess Diana, okay? So it was very interesting. So if you haven't watched that video, go to my Andy After Dark uh, playlist and go and watch it ASAP, all right? So, Miss Trisha Paytas, you know, she is supposedly be going through this journey of self-discovery, you know? Uh, her latest posts have been a lot of like, I'm becoming a new person, I'm pregnant, I'm going to be a mother, I'm trying to be better, I'm trying to change, I'm trying to change for my daughter and not for me. You know, she did a whole video on her car eating Domino's basically saying like uh, she knew that her daughter was going to be heavily attacked in the future just for being her daughter, you know, and that she has been looking inside herself and that she will make a lot of changes because she doesn't want that burden on her daughter. You know, Trisha Paytas has had a career made of controversy, you know, made of scandal and drama constantly. And even though she has a, her, her good, you know, uh, part of fans, she has a lot of haters. Like a lot of haters. She, I mean, I have seen pages, Reddit, dedicated to hate Trisha Paytas, to hate, you know? Because one thing is comment on the bullshit that you do, and another one is when you cannot breathe because people are hating you for breathing, you know? So I have been seeing Reddit of people hating Trisha Paytas, and I'm like, girl, that's intense. That's a lot, you know? But that's kind of like the power that she's bringing or the energy that she's moving around her. But also, at the same time, it's a little bit complicated to be 100% on her side because she keeps, you know, doing things. I'm, I'm always the person who says, hey, if you are going to do a promise, you have to keep that promise, you know? You cannot backtrack. You cannot... I mean, if you're going to change your mind, at least explain why you're changing your mind, especially when you are a public figure. Because I feel that when you become a public figure, the the luxury of doing whatever the fuck you want is lost because now people are literally examining every single step that you do. You know, so you cannot just going around doing whatever you want and expect that no one is going to have an opinion. It doesn't work like that. It works like that for the regular people, the people that doesn't have fans, the people that don't look up to you. You know, those people can change their mind, can do whatever they want, and no one will ever say absolutely anything. You have a platform. You have to respect that platform, and you have a fandom, and you have to respect that fandom, you know. It is what it is. I don't make the rules. It is it's just what it is. You know, it's how human behavior behaves. You know what I mean? So she going around doing all these promises and then breaking them, saying that she's not going to indulge in certain things and then doing it, uh, promoting certain things and then being controversy. It's, 
is what she does and i don't know if it's because she's so used to it that she doesn't realize when she's stepping in into the same um pattern or what is going on with her or she just really doesn't give a shit and she's just playing with everyone because that's just who she is now the new backlash come because a week ago a couple of weeks ago i think on july 9 um trisha paytas posted that holes and mukbangs were her well i'm gonna read the tweet it says hole and mukbangs were me disrespecting myself it was greed gluttony and rot and it was ugly to me so i'm sorry if anyone misses the old trish because i certainly do not youtube do not youtube slowing down has been a blessing i still post because i love it cooking baby etc okay and actually someone says i bet you money you'll go back to the greed and gluttony and forget all about this in one this one of many temporary epiphanies and she replies by saying okay do you boo whatever making you sleep at night july 9 that was in july 9 you know she was quitting mukbang she was quitting doing hauls that's what she does basically you know she loves to do mukbangs she loves to sit in front of the camera eat whatever she has in front of her talk shit that's what she is or the host the same thing everything that she receives that she buys whatever she loves to open it you know and show people what she has how many how much money she has and all of this she was like i am doing better i am going to become a better person i am not this you know uh, santa trisha is here to stay well it comes july 20th and she is posting a baby hole and a mukbang first she posted baby hole baby first ox and then she posts asmr cheesecake factory crunchy pros crispy appetizers mukbang sounds eating no talking girl how do you expect people to take you seriously if you keep doing this shit? Look, it will be so much easier for you to not say absolutely anything. Especially, I feel, when you really want to change yourself, you don't go around telling people that you are going to change. Mm -mm -mm. You do it for yourself, okay? You don't have to expect credit from people, okay? You don't need acceptance from people you don't need people telling you you go girl you have the oh you're amazing you're a beautiful human being no if you want to change you do it for yourself because you want to because you realize there is something wrong inside you that you need to change so stop posting about it if you're not going to be serious stop posting about it because this is what happened she promised something next week she's doing another thing and then she's mad because people are talking about her. Girl, please. So anyways, that's it. Another backlash that she is receiving. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't even know how to like do these questions. Like, Just let me know because it's like, girl. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.